Welcome everybody to another Drostic G project video. Today I'm going to restore this G10 air pistol. That's where I go out with a magnet and look for treasure in the water. This is one thing I pulled out and I've got to restore it. <laughs> yeah, it's a BB gun though. Oh, you a gun though. Yeah. Drostic's going to find himself a gun. <laughs> yeah, man. I can't believe this, man. <laughs> Smiling, yeah. I'll take a photo now. <laughs> <laughs> nice. So this restoration to some people might be really pointless because they're not very powerful and you can buy these relatively cheap off the internet. But it means a lot to me because I used to have one of these 20 years ago when I was a kid. So because this is in terrible condition, I'm not worried about scratching it. That's why I'm using a screwdriver to scrape off all the encrusted mud to see if I can free up the action. This back bit of the OG 10s is what, what you pull back to cock it. As you can see, it's really seized in there. So I'm just using a flat screwdriver to try and pry it back and loosen it off. So I've never took one of these apart, so it's literally three screws and then you just pry it open. As you can see inside, it's got years and years of encrusted mud inside. So all the tiny little springs inside, they've all perished. So what I had to do is go on eBay and buy like a little spring kit. What I should be wearing is gloves and eye protection. But when I first started doing these restorations, I, I never bothered. All new restorations I will do. Well, that come flying out. <laughs> Just need to find the other end of it now. So all I'm doing now is just taking it apart and I'll use a, a little screwdriver just to scrape all the mud out. The solution is just warm water and washing up liquid. And I'll use a paintbrush to um, agitate all the mud and try and get it out best I can. So most of the pistol isn't too bad but the front end is really corroded. I'm not too sure what metal it is. I don't think it's steel, I think it's some sort of mixture, like zinc or something like that. All I'm using now is just normal paint remover and I'll brush it on um, as thick as possible and I'll just leave it for like 5-10 minutes I start scraping it off and then keep reapplying As you can see this is after about 20 minutes um, it's bubbled off nicely and it scrapes off really easily. So now I'm using wire wool with soap inside and uh, just to scrape off all the loose paint. I've got a wire wheel attachment for the bench grinder and it's really good for ripping rust off.
So the main body came up really well, it was just the front half that was really heavily corroded and that's why I used a grinder with like an 80s grit flappy wheel just to get most of the corrosion off. And then I'll go back over it with an orbital sander. I start off with like an 80s grit and then I'll go down to like a 400s. So then I use panel wipe to take all the grease and dust off and then I'll start giving it a coat of primer, um, give that a couple of thin layers and then I'll go back over it with a top coat. So I painted the main body silver but I wanted the grips black um, so I decided just to mask them out. So I was a bit nervous when I was pulling the masking tape off because I didn't want any new paint to come off with the tape. First was the safety catch and then second was the trigger. These are the little springs I got from eBay because um, the old ones were very perished. So this is a front barrel section. You can either load it with 10 BBs, one pellet or one dart and the calibre is 177. So now I'm just putting the piston and the spring back in. It is under pressure so you just got to be careful with this bit. It is like a bit of a jigsaw puzzle, but uh, I enjoyed this bit. This little spring is um, just so the trigger can uh, reset back into the forward position. So these were the three original screws. I just sanded them up and then painted them. This is a retaining clip and that's just for the piston and that goes into the slider. What I will do at a later date is I'll strip it back down and I'll give the uh, internal parts a bit of a lubrication with gun oil. At the time I didn't have any. So to operate these G10s, you just pull down the safety, cock it, push it forward. Load it from the front. Like I said before, you can either put 10 BBs in the top or the bottom hole is for the pellet or the dart. <laughs> 